Howdy peeps and welcome, or welcome back to the channel. Um, today, short notice kind of video, we just kind of decided to visit and I thought it would be worth making a quick video about. This is a very pretty church. We are in All Saints in Old Buckingham. And uh, let's try and get things level, shall we? I'm still on the her, the camera's on the her. Let's get things facing the right direction and carry on. There we go. So, as we come in through a rather stunning little door, I say little, I wouldn't want to pick it up. So, some of the metal work, which gives you a clue as to the age and the fact that that is solid oak. Um, we are standing inside a 14th century church but, as is fairly usual for this part of the world, there's been a church on this site a lot longer than that. As you can see from the inside of the tower, it's round, which tells you it's Norman. But if you look on the outside of the tower, it's octagonal. Um, so, yes, we're at least Norman. And given some of the uh, trees in the churchyard, um, yeah, we're going back to pagan times, going pre-Christian worship on this site. Uh, so we have a, a priest's cubby hole back here with all these bits, Ooh, an uneven floor. Rather nice font, not overly done. I believe it's actually still used. Um, you can see where they've taken the rude screen and moved it to just partition off the priest's area, as it were, the priest's door. Look at the date that it was put in. 1637. We had the various you know, about all the charities of the parish. And obviously the royal royal coat of arms up the top. <clears throat> it's a very peaceful and it's a nice church to be in. It's not not one of those that makes you think you've done something wrong or you shouldn't be there. Um, apologies, you're not going to be able to read that, but that's the memorial to all those who fell in the Great War from the parish of Old Buckingham. Great War being First World War, 1914 to 18. There are a lot of <clears throat> memorials in the church to previous rectors and yeah. uh, so the lower one here I've got this stick in my hand so could, let me, uh, there we go if you zoom into the lower one for evil princess of the 19th Hussars, who lost his life in the Boer War. And then... Um, the Palmer family, who was a previous reverend. And then we have the rather pretty box pews, which are all 1800s. Some very nice carved finials. carpeted area and the pulpit also beautifully carved and again the same period 1800s the general who got the grapes the corn the 
across the wheat. And we come to <coughs> the stained glass windows, which are obviously a, a main point of a lot of these old churches. I've not done a huge amount of research, I'm afraid, so I can't tell you where they're from, what style, what the glass is, or what all the various symbology means. Well, now this one is in memory of William Thomas Simpson, 1897. And steps up to the pulpit. And as we come to the end, we have the more usual, well, we have the choir's benches. We have that annoying fly you always get. And the tomb of Matthew Sturdivant, who in his last will gave a hundred, or basically, basically set up a school and paid for the new bells. And the Sturdivant school is still running. It's still in operation to this day. And we come back to some of the oh, floor memorials. Put my teeth in. Floor memorials. So the Brewsters, the Lees. Unfortunately, you know, with the sun in the shadow. So we have the Wellams across here. The Harveys or Herveys, whichever way you want to put it, depending on your age. <laughs> we have another one up here to Lionel George Robinson, um, who was the High Sheriff in the County Lord of the Hundred of Shropham and the Manors. Old Buckingham and Wilby, member of the London Stock Exchange. Eldest son from uh, Australia, Melbourne. Born in Salon, uh, Colombo, Salon. Moved over here and died in Old Buckingham. The last couple of lines, distinguished by his industry and integrity, his sense of justice and kindness of heart endeared him to all. Tells you he's a nice person. We have Reverend Thomas Fulcher. Uh, 1888, he was 88, and we have to be, I'm always nervous about stepping up this step, because I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm, I shouldn't be up here. And we have the slaps, point the camera in the right direction might help, Exodus, the Lord's Prayer, another glass, stained glass window. Very pretty. And the east end window. And yes, you can see what that is on the left. We're not going to mention that. <laughs> all in all, a very pretty church. Now, the reason we're doing the inside and the waffle um, is because it's a windy day. And cameras and wind don't do well. Well, unless it's a live stream and it's my wind. Um, here we have a funeral beer from 1688. Hopefully not recently used. And so yeah, we've got the four folding handles at either end of the two in the middle that I'm pointing at. And um, yeah, so six people could carry the coffin. And oh, more stained glass. Very pretty. I've got a funny feeling these ones are a little more modern. 
I think they might be painted rather than actual coloured glass. What are the little chick chicks? Mm. That's like 1858, restored and reseated. And we have a rather interesting sign up here about the property belonging to the parish of Old Buckham. We'll zoom in a bit. I'll just run you down there so you can read it. And we'll zoom back out. We'll make our way outside through the rather sizable so, so porch up the stone steps. And the wind appears to have dropped. Bizarre. So here we are outside. And we can be a bit more vociferous. As you can see on the outside, we now have an octagonal tower. Mm -hmm. well, I can't actually see where I'm pointing the camera because the sun's behind me. We have thatched roof, which I believe. I'll get it in shot. It has not been long repaired. And a whole bunch of rather old stones and graves. Um, now while, I'm, while we're outside and it's all clear and quiet and calm, uh, did feel something inside the church. Um, something that made all the hairs on my legs stand up. It was just the one leg, not both, which is why I was like, hang on. And it was only in one particular spot, so. I did my usual, said hello, introduced myself. Uh, said if whoever it was wanted to make contact. We're more than welcome to. As I said, it's a rather large graveyard for what is a small village church. Mary and I spent a little while exploring, and we found a couple of graves. One that made us chuckle. Oh, let's have a look around this way. Um, one not so much. Um, yeah, I get the feeling this would be a, an interesting and probably rather spooky place to be at. There's one of my clues why this is probably pre-Christian. There's a rather old hawthorn tree. Um, and the Christian practice is yew trees in churchyards, not hawthorns. The hawthorn is a pagan thing. As far as I'm aware anyway, I don't wish to be completely incorrect and state something. So here we have uh, a war grave. H.J. Bowen, Royal Fusiliers, died February 1919, age of 41. So, I'm guessing probably from injuries received near the end of the war. And we come into the back part of the cemetery, which is where the new graves are. There is this one that did, this is the grave that made us chuckle. Um, in loving memory of Richard Dick Cocking. Now apologies to any of the Cocking family who may inadvertently view this video. I'm not making fun of your relative at all. But you've got to admit, the name is funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I shouldn't make jokes about these things, but 
I can't help it. And then we came and found this one, which I know is recent, um, 47 to 2017. But I knew David, worked with him at Bannon Poultry um, for many years. He's a lovely man, very nice, easy to get on with. Helpful, friendly, couldn't ask for a better colleague. So rest in peace, David. Hope you're in a better place now. And yeah, hopefully you're not hanging around here anyway. But with that, I shall do the screeny flip and very quickly say uh, that way. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, don't forget like, comment, subscribe, hit all the buttons and stuffs. It all helps the channel, which helps me, which helps you get more content. Thank you very much. Enjoy your hobbies, your pastimes or whatever. Peace out. Have fun. Bye-bye.